Hi, my name is Jessica Stavenberg. Welcome. I want to show you a little bit around creating a Google slide. So I'm making sure that I'm logged in to the Google domain. I'm clicking on the waffle and I'm clicking on slides. So I wanted to show you a little bit around the slides menus and how to get started. So when I go to Google Slides, I can start a new presentation right here, a blank one, or it's going to different templates that have already been created. I can click on this template gallery, and then I can see things that are general, but I can also see what's in Williams Unified School District. And in there, I have added two templates that I create my slide decks from. So here is one that I submitted. If you created a slide deck that you really like and you want to reuse it, you could always file, make a copy, but then you can submit your template so it's always here for you so that you don't have to go looking through your Google Drive to find it. So you could go over to here, submit a template, and select your presentation, and then you can add it here. So I just wanted to show you that as an option. The other thing that I've shared with you before is using a Google slide to create an interactive notebook with your students. And this template comes from Matt Miller, and he has a lot of templates available for free for teachers and that you can use with your students. And he even says, feel free to copy it. So I just want to make sure that I give a shout out to Matt Miller because I love his templates. And you can see that each slide here has different templates within the different slides. And then you could use which ones you wanted in your slide presentation or use them all as they are. But you can see that he has a lot of great templates. They're all ready for you to utilize. So if you would like a copy of this, you can contact me or you can contact Matt Miller. Now starting from my template, I wanted to show you that I can go through this menu right here and I can download my presentation in a variety of formats. I can download this as a Microsoft PowerPoint. I can download this as a PDF. I can download this as a JPEG. So if you have students out there who are struggling to keep up with your class because they don't have good enough um, internet access, you could always print this, make it a PDF, and then print it out so that then you could provide that as a hard copy for your students. You can also email it as an attachment. Here's your print options right down here. Under editing, there's the usual editing tools there. Viewing, and I'll show you what my master slide looks like, and I'll show you a little bit about how to edit your master. So this is probably a new thing for you if you're new to using a Google slide. So when you create a master for your slide, your master will control the background, the colors, all of your pieces so that your it, everything looks kind of the same as you add new slides. So if I click on my master, I'll show you how I had the settings I had set up. So it says right here what the settings are. And then right here you can apply it to all of them. Here is my edit master title style so that I'm setting all of these so that as I'm adding new slides, they follow the same color scheme, they follow the same font, they follow the same kind of piece so that when I'm clicking through my slide deck over here, all of my tiles kind of have that same formatting. And you can see that in this, I have also was able to add my videos right in there. So in this, you'll see that it has a number of slides connected to this presentation. 
in the Illuminate world, they've always called it a slide deck, which is why I have called it a slide deck. I borrowed their term, slide deck, but it's really just a presentation of slides that go together. Now over here, I can insert. There's all kinds of multimedia choices that you could add into a slide so that in your slide it could be very interactive with the students a little bit more than just a Google Doc. So you have more multimedia options that you could add in. Formatting, the basic formatting pieces. Now in slide, this is where you would add a new slide. You could duplicate a slide. You could skip a slide, move a slide, all of that. Change the background, but this is where you edit that master. So we viewed the master. This is where you actually edit your master. So I'll click on that to show you what that editing master looks like. And again, this is where you are actually making those changes and you are telling your slides that every new slide you add is going to follow this master and whatever settings you have placed there. Now over here, I can also look at tools that I have. This Explore tool right here is going to show me my slides and it's gonna give me suggestions for how to make my slides more appealing. So let's just look at one of my slides. So you'll see as I click on a slide, it updates and it shows me different ways that I could have formatted this to make it better. So it says auto created for what's on your slide. So if I click on this, you'll see it changes. It changes automatically. And it changed the colors. If I don't like it, I can just click the undo up here and turn it back. It will also show me different ways to move things around, different choices for different fonts and things like that. Notice that on this one, it doesn't have any ideas. Apparently that one was perfect. <laughs> but it will it always gives you ideas where you can search your layouts and make your presentation a little bit more visually appealing. So that's under tools, the explore tool right there. So it goes here, you would click on that, and then it would show you here. And you could also search for clip art and things like that right there. Your background and your layout are right here. And you can always make those changes. So if you decide that you have made a master and you don't like it, you can always reset that theme. You can always make those changes. Just because you've made changes to your master doesn't mean that you can't change it. So you always can. Notice that it's auto-saving here. It says all changes are saved in Drive. That is happening automatically in the background for you. Up here, you can share it so that you could make this a collaborative experience with your students. So if you wanted them to have their own copy, remember in Google Classroom, you would say everyone with would get their own copy and everyone gets a copy, then they would have to file, make a copy up here, such as right here. They would go to file, make a copy so that then they would have their own version of this entire presentation. You could make it editable so you could share it with your kids, but then instead of viewing, you could give them editing rights. So if you were trying to do a class project, for example, and perhaps you only created this first piece, and maybe in your directions you wanted them to each create their own slide, you would tell them in your directions to go to the slide menu. You would give them editing rights, so that means they would be changing your copy as well. You would be telling them in the directions to add a new slide as part of their homework. And then at the end, you would have a whole class slide deck with one new slide for every student. So that's another option that you have for utilizing Google Slides with your students. I hope that this 
is helpful to you. And I would love if you would share with me some of your presentations that you've tried with your class. Have a great day.